Hello, Capricorns. How are you? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. It's so good to see you guys. I've missed you. And welcome to your love reading for December 15th of 2021. I hope all is well with my caps. I miss you guys so much. And thanks for all your love and support, your emails, your messages. I appreciate that. Everything went well. Your girl is chilling. This is my new temporary setup, so I hope you guys don't mind. Even though I know y'all miss seeing my pretty face <laughs> and all my pretty expressions. Y'all got to deal with uh, hands now. But I'm not going to lie. Like I said, the Scorpios, I kind of like this new setup because I don't have to be beating my face every day and putting on makeup and doing my hair and all of that. I can look a hot mess and still <laughs> do my readings. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of work every day to have to get dressed up and, you know what I'm saying? Put on makeup, do your hair. and oh, You already know. You already know. But anyway, Capricorns, hello. Welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot. If you've never been here before, welcome. If you're coming back, thanks for coming back. Don't forget to smash that like button, please. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's your way of showing that you care about this channel and showing gratitude for all of us hardworking YouTubers out there. There's a lot of information in the description box, so I would definitely encourage you to check that out, how to book a personal reading with me, the extended reading link for this reading, as well as all of my social media information, all right? So check that out when you get a chance, all right? So let's see what's going on with my Capricorns. It's been a while, Cap. Let's see, how have you guys been feeling in love? What's going on with my Capricorns in love? First car, what we got there? Bam. Holy shit. The Queen of Pentacles. Oh shit, Cap. I love when I see that. I'm dancing right now, but you can't really see me. Oh, I like that because that's your core card. That is you, the Queen of Pentacles, male or female. Um, I like that you started in this energy because it shows me that you are in your power. You're making your money, you're staying grounded, you're being the best mother you could be, best father you could be, your business is booming, your career is booming, your school, whatever you're investing in, it shows you're doing well. Your money looks really good too. Um, you look like you're on top of your shit, so I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I love it. You guys tend to pull that a lot in your readings, um, which doesn't surprise me because mostly all the Capricorns I know are on their shit. You know what I mean? How else you feeling in love? Who that? Let's see. The King of Wands. Oh, shit. Some of y'all might be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Okay. All right. Big Daddy King right there. Okay. How else is uh, <laughs> Capricorn feeling in love? Let's see. What else we got there? What's that? The Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay. That's a free energy. Something that could have had you bound for a while. I see you freeing yourself from it. Okay, what we got there? The seven of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Possibly somebody that was wasting your damn time. Mm -hmm. We know what that's like. Oh, you have two cards flopped. So I'm going to take them both. I don't know what they are, but let's see what we got here. What is this? The sun and the knight of cups. Oh shit. Nice. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio. Cancer Pisces. Somebody here is trying to get close to you. Trying to make you a love offer here. Um, I'm just not sure how you feel. Let's see. What's that there? Two of swords. Yep. <laughs> you trying to decide. One last card for how Cappy Cap is feeling. In the, the Page of Cups. Oh, shit. You got somebody trying to get that ass. Overall energy. Queen of Swords. <laughs> All right, Cap. I, I fucks with it. You like, listen. Miss Hawaii. And you sucked your teeth just like that. Just like how them Jamaicans be sucking their teeth. You gave me that Jamaican patois. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie. Some of y'all got more than one person that's interested in you, Cap. Oh yeah, big dog shit right here. Some of y'all got more than one person that's interested in your ass. Um, 
But what I'm getting so far is here you are sitting pretty, male or female, doing your thing, making your money, looking good, being the snack that you are and the absolute catch that you are. And then I'm seeing multiple people around you. For some of you, it's two people. Okay, I'm seeing a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For others of you, it could be the same person. Their energy is very to get to you though. It's Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. This person has a lot of feelings. King of Wands, they're also very, very attracted to you. Um, I just don't know with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Sun. I'm not sure if you feel like this person is gonna waste your time. You know what I mean? Because your overall energy is the Queen of Swords. So you're very protective right now. You're very guarded. What's behind that? The lovers. Oh, shit. With the chariot in reverse. Cancer energy. Okay. So it could be, yeah, like some of y'all dealing with a Gemini. But, ooh, there's a decision to make here. You got two cards about a decision. Okay. With the two of swords and the lovers. Okay. Um very intense if you see this lover's card here very very intense energy here between you and this person uh, but i just see you chariot in reverse four pentacles in reverse some of you recently just got out of something that was very destructive or that had you feeling trapped or something that had you very bound so i see a lot of you right now are you know not trying to ever be in that type of energy again i mean how can i blame you of course you don't you know what i mean um but you're not really sure if this person is worth investing and in moving forward. So let's go ahead and clarify and see. Okay, let me grab a clarifying deck here. I'll use that one. And we'll see what's going on here. Okay. So there is an extended reading link below. Um, that's where I will continue the reading over on Vimeo. And I'll do a full spread on your person. See how your person feels about you and what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you, Cap. Okay. I'll also pull some oracle cards for you for advice from the universe, from your angels, okay? So I would love to see you there. And don't forget personal readings. You can email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com, all right? So let's see you here, the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you care about this person. I feel like you could be an excellent wife or excellent husband towards this person. Um... The five of pentacles in reverse. Okay. With the hierophant. Didn't I just say excellent wife or excellent husband? And there we go pulling the fucking hierophant card, which is my marriage card. Um, some of y'all dealing with a Taurus. But yeah, I feel like you're ready. I feel like you're ready for something serious. I mean, the queen of pentacles isn't here to just date. The queen of pentacles is like the ultimate marriage, you know, um, wife or husband card. It's somebody who's grounded. It's somebody who knows what they're bringing to the table. It's somebody who's serious and wants to commit. So I feel like you definitely got out of something here. You know, um, for some of you, it was a situation that had you really feeling like alone, abandoned. You know what I mean? Kind of isolated. Some of you were isolated for a while to the point that you weren't dating anybody because you were just trying to heal from a past situation or you just didn't trust anybody. So I feel like you're finally coming out of this energy where you're ready. Okay. But with the Hierophant, you ready for some next level commitment. You're not ready for just no bullshit. Not going to just have sex with me and throw me to the side or, you know, wasting my time type shit. Now let's see the King of Wands here. Who is this? The Emperor in reverse with the Page of Cups here again. So if some of you, yeah, this may be the same person. There's somebody here who's very interested in you. I don't know why they're, why the Emperor in reverse though. Why, why are they coming out as the Emperor in reverse? The Knight of Pentacles, okay. High Priestess in reverse. Hmm. Could be an Aries, okay. Um, I don't know why their energy is coming out like the Emperor in reverse. Hmm. Maybe this person could be coming on a little bit too strong or this person could be moving a little bit too fast. Okay, because sometimes that can be what it is. The Emperor in reverse on top of the King of Wands could be somebody who's either coming off a little bit too controlling or they're just trying to push something a little bit too much and you're the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like your energy is more like slow moving. This is a very slow moving energy. 
I got to get to know you. I want to see if you're about it, about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to waste my time. That type of shit. Show me the Eight of Swords in reverse. Whoa. Knight of Cups here again. Mm. With the Eight of Swords again in reverse from a whole other deck. Same card. Wow. So, uh, yeah. I feel like wow whoever this is they are really trying to get close to you capricorn i don't know who this is um but i keep seeing that you freed yourself here from something something had you bound a lot of you whether it was an addiction or it could have been an unhealthy relationship or somebody from your past whatever it was there's something that had you stuck for a long time and i feel like y'all are finally ready now the knight of cups could absolutely be you you know what i mean ready to love ready to feel again you know what i mean um let's see the seven of pentacles in reverse the chariot in reverse with the queen of pentacles there you go again <laughs> looking all pretty male or female okay i love that you got the queen of pentacles from two different decks you're on your shit you're on your game but I feel like y'all are not chary to say. It could be a cancer that you're dealing with. I feel like it's a very slow moving energy you're in. A lot of you are kind of more focused on your career, your money, your kids, stability. You know what I mean? Um, and a lot of you right now are kind of hesitant as far as it may go, as far as trying to seriously commit to somebody right now, unless this person shows you that they're absolutely worth seriously committing to does that make sense okay that's what i'm getting because I, I feel like you got the queen of pentacles like i said this is the energy of being ready but you got the chariot in reverse so either you're not sure if this person is worth investing in whoever you're dealing with and you're trying to wait it out i see you care about them i see you care i see you have feelings you know what i mean but i see you kind of like at a standstill here chariot in reverse from two different decks you're not moving right now two of swords is like you're trying to make a decision all right let me see the sun card the nine of cups Ooh, with the seven of cups in reverse Ooh, cap i'm not gonna lie some of y'all shit you, you fuck with this person whoever this is don't look at me like that yeah i can still see you don't look at me like that some of y'all, I feel like if you've been intimate with this person, I feel like the intimacy was off the chain. That's not for everybody. Don't leave me a comment. I've never had sex with him. Okay, then that's not for you. But for a specific Capricorn or a few of you, a good amount of you, I see you and this person got down to the nitty gritty, the nasty. And I see it being <laughs> a very, ooh, it was a very uh, spiritual experience with the sun on top of the nine of cups. Seven of Cups in reverse. I mean, I feel like some of y'all, once you fucking made love to this person, you was like, that's it. I don't even need to look at no other options. You don't want to close down other options. The love is in reverse. Some of y'all, you could have even, ooh, could have been somebody else you was dealing with and you decided to cut that person off. The love is in reverse can also mean that maybe you're not sure 100% how this person feels though. You want to make sure that y'all on the same level. Let me see. Show me the Knight of Cups. Oh, the Ten of Cups tried to pop out. Oh, show me the Knight of Cups, please. Show me this person, the Knight of Cups. Show me the Knight of Cups. The King of Cups in reverse with the Three of Swords. Whoa, what's going on here? Mmm. Something's going on here. It's like you're afraid to have feelings for this person because you're afraid you're going to get your heart broken. You don't know if you can trust this person emotionally. Show me the two of swords. It's like, can I trust this person? The two of cups in reverse with the star in reverse. Aquarian energy. Why? This is interesting because I 
I feel like there's this something wrong here. Not wrong, but I'm seeing I'm seeing they have feelings for you, they want you. I'm seeing you have feelings for them, you want them, but why do you feel it's like you feel you and this person are in two different places though, right? I don't know. If they're not really giving you that type of commitment vibe or if they're taking this as serious as you would like to take this. Let me see. Show me the page of cups. The ten of pentacles. Oh, shit. With the moon in reverse. Mm. Could be a cancer or a Pisces. I feel like, wow. I mean, that's a commitment card right there. I feel like a lot of my Capricorns, you're ready, but there's something, you, there's a reason why you're either you're holding back or you feel like your person is holding back. The overall energy is the Queen of Swords. I don't feel like, I mean, it could be your person. This is crazy. What's under this? The strength card, Leo energy, and the nine of wands, the ace of wands in reverse, and the temperance card, the Sagittarian energy. That's the card about waiting. Somebody is definitely moving slower than the other. I feel like you. I feel like with the two of cups in reverse coming out on top of the two of swords, it's like you're trying to decide here, like, are me and this person actually compatible in the long run? But I feel like, because I, I see here, you want your ten of pentacles. You're not trying to date for fun. You're not trying to just, you know what I mean, have no fucking rendezvous. Like, you want the whole nine yards. You want the feelings. You want the great sex. And you want the long lasting. Okay. Let me, let's look from another deck here, okay? And then we'll go into the extended and see about your person. Because I'm seeing seven of pentacles in reverse on top of the chariot in reverse. It's like, is this worth investing in? You know what I mean? But I see feelings. I mean, I feel like Somebody here might even be pregnant or have a baby on the way or some shit like that. That's not for everybody. Um, let's go ahead and look for another deck here, okay? I want to be living for the love of you. Who the fuck is that? Capricorn feel about this person? How does Capricorn feel about this person? Chariot. Mm. With the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like the chariot is like a moving, a moving energy. But the Six of Pentacles is in reverse, like Let's see, how does Capricorn feel about this person? The page of swords in reverse. You got the sun again. Boy, this person make you happy, boy. Whoever this is, you like how they make you feel. Three of wands in reverse and the ten of swords in reverse here is the overall energy. I feel like with the nine of wands in reverse, two of pentacles in reverse, and the hierophant in reverse, I feel like Capricorn, there may be some issues here as far as commitment with this person. Like you wondering if this person wants commitment or it could be vice versa. 
um, I mean, the sun came out twice from two different decks. So I feel like whoever this person is, could be a Leo, I feel like they definitely highlight your day. This is definitely somebody that, this is the most positive card in the deck. But something here has you, it's like you're kind of like half and half. It's like a part of you feels like this could work. This is what everything I've wanted. You know what I mean? It's a go, you know, with the chariot here and the fucking sun card. But then with the three of wands in reverse and the page of swords in reverse, it's like there's also another part of this that either makes you feel like you're not sure. You're, you're being either a bit... You know, can there actually be a future in this? It's like, I want it. I can see this. This person has either helped me move forward from something that was very damaging. Because I see here you went through something very damaging. Ten of swords in reverse. Somebody hurt you big time. Big time. And I see you healing from that, though. But I feel like you want to be sure before you move forward with this person, whoever this is, that y'all are on the same track, y'all on the same path. Your feelings are crazy. I see your feelings here. But I see there's also feelings of I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to be hurt. I know how happy this person is making me. I just, I, I'm, I'm, it's like a hot and cold. It's like a part of you is like, it's a go. And the other part of you is like, I have to wait. I don't know. I'm unsure. All right. So let's go into the extended now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a full spread on your person. We'll take a look at how they feel about you, what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you. And then I'll also um, pull some oracle cards for you as far as how you should move forward uh, with this person in the future. All right, Capricorn. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That would be so awesome of you. And the extended reading link is below. I hope to see you guys there. If not, I will see you guys next time. And don't forget, click that little bell button below. That will notify you every time I go live or I do a new, um, post a new Capricorn reading. All right, Caps. I love you guys. Shout out to all the members. You got a new members read coming soon. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Take care. Much love and stay well and stay blessed.